Hey y'all, stick around to see how I got this look. Hey you guys, it's Steffi. How are y'all doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. So I've been watching a couple videos on how to smudge eyeliner. The reason I want to do this is because I have very hooded eyes and when I do a wing, it's a nice wing when I close my eyes, but as soon as I open my eyes, all you see is the tiny little tail right there. So I want to do something to where you can actually see the eyeliner, and I think the answer is smudging. I'm not sure. I've never attempted this before, but I'm going to try it here with you guys. So I'm going to use my makeup tape, which is masking tape. So anyway, y'all, I, I, I already went on a rant about that the other day, so... And I'm going to put it right under where my bottom lash goes out because I want to do a top top and bottom line. Does that look all right? Let me see. Yeah, that looks about good. I'm going to start out with a neutral shade. Um, just a, like a mid brown shade and I moved everything around on my vanity so now I can't find anything I'm my my I mean my old vanity my new vanity is in Orlando so I'm very excited about that hopefully I'll get it in the next couple of days so I'm just gonna go in with this neutral shade just to have something on my eyelids it's almost the shade of my skin it's like a shade darker than my skin just to have something there. And I already prepped my eyes with my um, my eye primer and some powder. So I had a crazy day yesterday. My neighbors were trying to get from the outside, they were trying to get a sectional couch up to their apartment on the third floor and I live on the first floor so we're watching the videotape of these people trying to get this couch up and it would it kept getting stuck under our patio and under the top of our patio so I finally went out there and I said can I help you guys at all let me push the couch out while y'all pull it up so they started pulling it up I pushed the couch out so it would clear the ledge and then they start screaming, come up here and help us. Now, me and my husband are not the people to ask to do this kind of stuff because we are both disabled. This is kind of getting in my eye a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. So anyway, we go up the, to the third floor and we can't really climb stairs that well anyway. So we get up there and they're asking us to help pull this couch up. So I start, I, I'm on one line. There's three different lines. I'm on the right line. We get it pulled up and it won't go over their balcony. And um, finally they got one side up, standing like straight up on the third floor on the outside of the balcony, but they were able to pull it in. Oh my God, you guys, it was crazy. I thought I was gonna like go flying over the ledge or something, but I didn't and it all worked out. All right, so I'm gonna take a black uh, liner pencil. This is NYX Professional Makeup. It's just a, you know, retractable liner. And I'm going to start putting it all over, well, you know, where, wherever you put eyeliner. On the lid, on the, by the, by the lashes. I might go back over this part with um, some gel lash, gel eyeliner, because I have a hard time getting everything to be covered. And I am gonna tight line also, but this is just, you know, regular eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go up on the tape. Uh-oh, this tape is coming up. I'm gonna go out. The only reason I'm using the tape is because I want it to be a nice, crisp uh, edge. I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna go over where I normally shouldn't go over because of my hooded eye. See, when I put it up like this, all you can see is the little tail. And it doesn't look great. So I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna take a smudge brush, and I'm just gonna go over the top of this, and I'm gonna smudge it out. 
and hopefully you'll be able to see this with my eye open. I'm not going to do the front part very much. I want most of the smudge to be in the middle and the outer wing. And the cool thing about this is that when you smudge it out, when you get it on the part you're not really supposed to get it on, it won't stick to the top of your eyes because it's not real wet. Hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I kind of want this to be very prominent. Like go kind of way out. Like that. Okay, so that's smudged out. Hopefully it'll come out straight. It's actually a little bendy on the top so let me straighten that out a little bit all right so let me go do the other eye and then we'll see how this comes out so i don't know how this is going to come out i smudged it up quite a ways because i want you to be able to see it with my eyes open and you can see it i mean i don't know how this is going to look so let's take the tape off I mean, it's a nice crisp line. I don't think they're very even. Let me see if I can smudge up a little more on this side. I like how they're sharp though. I'm also going to do this on the bottom, but not as much. So let me tight line. I'm gonna put the eyeliner on I feel like I've got something stuck in my left eye. It's like really bothering me. I think I might need to change my contacts. It feels like there's a piece of sand in there or something. And it was really red until I put in some Lumify. I love that stuff. Lumify, it's awesome stuff. I want to put it on my waterline on the bottom. I'm not going to be real careful with it because I'm going to smudge it anyway. I'm going to put it on the lashes just a little tiny bit. Okay, so let me try to smudge it out. I don't think I'm going to do any bottom lashes today. I think I'm just going to go with some top lashes and be done. I think if I put lashes on, I would have to put like big lashes on for it to show. And I'm not going to do that. I want this to be kind of a simple look. It came down just a little bit, so I'm going to take some concealer and kind of fix that a little bit. Just because I want it very sharp. Kind of going over where I put the eyeliner. I'm kind of going over it. So I think with this look, I don't know, it's still not coming out exactly how I want it to. So I think I need to put some more eyeshadow on. I don't know, maybe the maybe the lashes will make it look better I haven't put my face makeup on yet so maybe I can fix <clears throat> some of this <clears throat> excuse me when I put my face makeup on let me do a little bit darker eyeshadow to see how it looks when I close my eyes it's great but when I open them it's not 
that great. So let me put some darker eyeshadow on. Let me see what color do I want. I don't know what this color is. It's like a gray brown. I don't know. I've never used it before, so we'll see. And I want to wing it out because the wing is that, you know, I want to follow the wing. Okay, you can't even see that color. <sighs> Let me try this darker brown that I sometimes use. That looks a little better. God, my left eye really hurts. I need to take my contacts out and see what's going on with it. Okay, and I'm gonna take a white shadow and just put it under my brows. And then I'm gonna, what is this in here? Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. And then I'm gonna put some shine, some shimmer on my inner eyes, inner part of my eyes. I don't forgot what it's called. Oh, I'm using the wrong brush. That's the problem. I used the wrong brush on this. Well, since I used the wrong brush, let me put some up here, too. Somebody asked me to do freckle rhinestones, like put rhinestones as if they were freckles. I'm really excited about that. I don't think I'm going to do that today, but I will do that soon because that sounds really cool. And now I'm going to go in with the eyelashes. These eyelashes still have some gold glitter on them, so hopefully it doesn't really show up. Oh, where are my tweezers? You guys, I got so much new makeup in my makeup cart. I have like a tackle box. It's overflowing, so I really can't wait to get my new vanities because it's got drawers. So I'm very excited. My eyelashes alone would fill up a whole makeup cart. So I'm very excited for the new vanity. I really got to take these contacts out. Something is really wrong with my left eye. Maybe my eyelash, my, sometimes you, your contacts can tear and then it like makes your eyes water and hurts your eyes. So I've had these in for a few days now. Sometimes I sleep in them, which you're not supposed to do, but whatever. I'm gonna put this lash on and then I'm gonna go do my face makeup real quick and then I will come back and do Lipstick. I'm feeling like a bright red lipstick today. I can't. Oh, these are the wrong tweezers. That's why. Come on now. Work with me. So yeah, if you have like veiny eyes like I do, it's kind of gross. But if you put Lumify in your eyes, and I know it's kind of expensive, but sometimes you can get it on OTC if you if you have an OTC program. You can get it on that sometimes, like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. It's a little bit expensive, but I really think it's worth it to not show your gross veiny eyes. 
And if you have like sometimes red eyes, it's really good. See how it just, it makes your eyes really white. I know my glue isn't dried yet. All right, so I'm gonna go do my face makeup and I will be right back. But I, I don't think these lashes are, are right for this look. I'm gonna put on some, these are like old, but they're kind of spiky um, lashes and I'll be right back and show you guys that. Okay, so I did my face makeup. I got new lashes on. I, these lashes don't look great, but hopefully after I put the um, Benefit Cosmetics, their real magnet on, hopefully they will look better. Also, I got my um, mascara in the mail. I just haven't checked the mail yet, but they're there. It's there, my mascara. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna use this little tube and then use start on the big tube i love this mascara i can't tell you guys how much i mean i could tell you guys how much but i love it this makeup look didn't come out exactly the way i wanted it so when that happens i resort to rhinestones so i think i'm going to put some rhinestones somewhere i'm not going to do the freckle one yet i have to still think about the freckle one but I'm going to put some rhinestones somewhere. I think maybe like here. Because I, I want to accentuate this part. But I, I like it just my eyes are just so hooded that it just didn't work out for me. So after I do the lipstick, I'm going to do the rhinestones. And Oh, and I also got this e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set. And look at this bottle. It's so cool. It's square. I love squares. I don't know why my rings are square. Like it's the princess cut that I love. I don't know. I just love squares. So I'm very happy that this came in a square. Also, I got this new um, eye shadow from Teemu. And it's in this tiny little square. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. I just love squares. So let me find my stuff. I'm going to be using my color uh what is this maybelline color sensational lip liner in the color brick red i think i'm gonna just color my cupid's bow in i like to do that when i wear red lipstick for some reason I hear that it's raining outside. It's good because I don't have to go anywhere today. You guys, I'm so excited about this vanity. So excited. I'm wondering if I should wear big eyelashes like I did yesterday. I don't know, I've changed my eyelashes so many times. Also, I took out my contact lens and changed it and it feels much better now. And this lipstick is, uh, is that, what is that? It's Infallible. Who makes Infallible? Oh, L'Oreal. Infallible um, in the color. I can't read it. It's 872, but I can't read the color. I don't know. These lashes aren't doing it for me. I think I, mean, I need to go bigger. Let me see, do I have my old? Yes. 
Yeah, you know, anytime that your makeup look doesn't work out for you, eyelashes are the answer. Eyelashes cover up everything, and so they're the answer. So I'm going to go with the big lashes like I had yesterday, and I'm going to go glue them up, and I'll be right back. The motto of today's makeup look is, lashes fix everything. I even had a video that was called lashes fix everything because it's just true anything that goes wrong with your makeup wear lashes or bigger lashes you know see it just covers up everything just fixes everything I love these lashes these are not even the biggest lashes that I have I have another pair look at these mamas look at these things I don't know I wore them once and I even thought it was too much so These are big. Can't even find my line there. Come on now. Work with me. Let me try it like this. Let me try pushing them down. Come on, you guys never give me problems before. Even if they're not on exactly straight, like exactly like on your on your lid on your lash line, it doesn't matter because they're so big that they cover up everything. Everything that went wrong, they just cover it up. I think I'm gonna go in with a little more if I can find the right brush this time. Go in with a little more shimmer. That's in the wrong hole. Where did you go, little pencil brush? Okay, I'll use this brush again. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know where my pencil brush went. It's my favorite for doing inside shimmer. Yes. I went a little bit crazy with the uh, nose contour today. So I'm trying to smudge that out a little bit. I don't know. I love these lashes. When the glue dries, they'll look fantastic. All right, so let me go get the uh, rhinestones. Let me see which ones I want to do. Do these ones I haven't done in a while. They're A, B. They're not my regular A, B ones, but they reflect purple and gold, so they're really pretty. I'm just going to do a line right there and a line right here. And, of course, my fake Monroe piercing right there. Let me find my dabber thing. Here it is. Lashes and rhinestones, y'all. Fix everything. I have to wait for it to dry a little bit, though. These rhinestones, I don't know why. They're all the same size, but I'm going to use them anyway. Did that stick? No, it did. I got a couple of shirts from Team U. I mean, they look really cool, but the like the fabric is very weird. It's very thin and kind of satiny a little bit. So we'll have to see how they look. God damn it. All right, the glue is not dry enough. Let me start over. So yeah, I'm going to wear I'm going to wear one maybe tomorrow. I mean, on the of course, on the picture the chick looked really good in it in jeans. And then, you know, 
they say it's like a plus size but then they show like a skinny model I think they should be showing plus size models so we'll see I have a pretty good girdle that hides a lot Some of these just aren't working. I don't think the glue is dry enough. I, I'm just too impatient. Come on, man. There it goes. These rhinestones and these eyelashes, I like them because they kind of, they kind of cover up the fact that you completely screwed up the eyeliner smudge. I mean, for, that I screwed up the eyeliner smudge. I think it completely like uh, redirects what you're looking at. So that's why I like to use these when I mess up my makeup. All right, so there's the rhinestones. Let me throw a little bit of mascara on these lashes just because it's a habit. So, yeah, with, with these videos that I do, like, I think today and yes, or the other day, both times we went through, like, two or three pairs of lashes. If I could do a makeup look right, I wouldn't have to wear these huge lashes, but, you know me, I'm just learning. Okay, let me go do something with my hair. I'll be back. Also, when you have hair that goes straight down... That also kind of covers up your makeup a little bit. Unfortunately, if you have big eyelashes on and you're covering your eyelashes, they'll like bend down. So just be aware of that. Just make sure that your hair is not in your lashes so that they stay flipped up. So anyway, this is the final look for today. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Um, watching me go through another messy makeup look. Um, I don't know the end the end came out kind of cool. I mean, I have a nice sharp wing I have some rhinestones some big lashes. So It is what it is. I will see you guys next time and I appreciate all of you. Bye